So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video we'll cover this lab so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password check the lab for it now if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now here you have to click on I understand Now here just click on I agree and agree and continue. Now from the navigation menu you have to open the vertex here and then from here just click on the dashboard. First thing is that we have to enable all the recommended APIs. So please pay attention to each and every step whatever I share. Now from here click on enable all recommended APIs. It will take few seconds and do not worry if it asks to enable again now workbench click on the workbench from left side as i am doing just follow along with me you will get full score without any issue now here is the workbench jupyter notebook make sure you are in the instance page if you are unable to find it now first thing is that you have to click on it and then click on the reset button on the top you can see now the instance is resetting basically why you are resetting the instance because sometimes what happens the files are not getting loaded properly and we are unable to complete the lab so that's why we are resetting the file Basically the instance, it will take few seconds, so just wait for it. So finally the instance is now reset. Now here you have to just click on open the instance. Wait for a few seconds, you can also refresh the browser also if you want. And many of you are asking about the skill badges and pre-assessment skill badges. You can check the description box for it. I have already attached along with the Lafree courses. So you can start doing it. If you have participated in the arcade facilitator program now here finally it's refreshed now here we will open the jupyter lab now here what happens sometimes you may face unnecessary error so you have to come back here and just open the jupyter lab like this now wait for the jupyter lab to open so finally here you can see the jupyter lab is now open now here basically first of all come to the terminal page okay First of all here you have to just open the terminal let me show you how you have to open and then we will create two form processors one form and one OCR processor. So here first thing is that once the Jupyter notebook is ready you have to just click on the terminal option like this ok. Now come to the lab instructions and here you can see what we have to create we have to first of all enable the document AI sorry AI API so how we'll do it let me show you you have to come over here then click on this API and services and from here library you can see you have to click on it it will take some time now here paste the API name which was mentioned on the lab that was document AI API I think so yes cloud document AI API so you have to just click on it and then here it will show to enable if it is enabled by default no need to worry about it if it is not you have to click on enable button now once it is successfully enabled we have to just move to the next step of this lab basically opening the document ai page so here wait for a few seconds the page is loading now from here you can see the search box okay on the search box you have to just type document ai so just type the document ai and from here just click on it click on the first one and from here just you have to click on explore processors so once you are done with this come over here and here form parser is here just click on it and first of all check the score for task number one now the next step is here we have to just copy this name carefully Make sure there is no any extra space or full stop added. Copy carefully and then you have to just paste over here and then just create. Now it will be created and here you can see the ID number. We will be requiring this ID number in future steps. So make sure you do not close that page. Now copy this from here and paste over here. Now the next step is that we come over here and run the this install command. So once you are done with this, you may face some kind of error, no need to worry about it. Just rerun it again. And once you have completed this, 
so here you have to just run the another command basically we are copying the form.pdf file also in our jupyter notebook now once all these things are done we have to just open the document ai for file sorry so here you can see this is sync file we have to open there are two files sync and async so first we will increase uh, first we will open the sync file and we will select python 3 as kernel so just carefully select python 3 as kernel like this and then here you can see if the basically location is other than us you have to update it it will be mentioned on the lab instruction now here you have to copy the processor id and just copy it from here to here and replace it now make sure to just check the there is no any extra space now here from here run one by one run each shell one by one so you and have wait to basically run each shell one by one and wait for some time so just keep running and you can see we got the output okay we got the output now we can move to the lab instructions and see the score whether we get the score or not so let's check the score here check the score for this particular task it will take some time so you need to wait it yes we forgot one thing we have to save the file also okay they have mentioned that we have to save the file also so you need to come back to the notebook click on file and just save notebook once you save the notebook it will be updated you can just check the score so let me see yes we got the score for this particular task now again we have to create a ocr processor so just copy the name and come back to this page basically the processor page click on this back icon i hope you haven't closed this page now from here you have click to on click on the processor, processor gallery then from here you have to find the ocr so basically we have to find the document ocr if you are unable to find you can take help from the search box also so here you can see that in general case just in here basically document ocr is here you can see they have mentioned document OCR. You can click it and now the paste the name over here. Now just click on import, basically create. Sorry. Now after that, you have to just copy the terminal page and just copy this command and paste over here like this and hit enter. Now it will take some time, so wait for it. So finally, it's done. Okay, finally, it's done. Now let's check the score for this particular task. Now for the last task is also very easy but some of you might face some kind of error. So I will show the error part also. So you need to take care of it. Now here you can see you have to just open the async file. We opened first of all sync file. Now here we'll use the async file. Now select python 3 as kernel wait for the kernel to get idle. Now here also we have to update the processor id. So which processor id we have to use? The OCR one, the one which we have created recently. They have not mentioned anything regarding the lab instruction. Still, we are trying to use it. Okay, so let's try to complete this part also. So just come back again to the Jupyter notebook and just update the processor ID. Okay, once you have updated the processor ID, make sure there is no any extra space. Now here, just click on run, selected cells and all below. It will take some time and it will be completed. Now here chances are there you may face some kind of error. So you have to rerun the shell again. So I will show you how you have to rerun the shell. Do not worry. So here you can see that we have completed all the things. And if you try to check the score. You can see we got the score for some task and only for last task we are not getting. So here are another way. You can just refresh the browser window also. Okay. And then if you want to enable this Christmas progress bar, as I said earlier, you can check the description box of this video. Now here we are not getting particularly score on the last task. So chances are there, there could be two reasons. First reason, we haven't saved the file. So as we saved the file as we did in previous step, I hope you remember file and then save notebook you can do that thing and if the error is still there you need to do one thing let me show you what you have to do you need to come back to the shell over here and run each shell one by one i think it will solve your issue so basically you can see the processor id is also correct now here basically you have to just click on anyone and then basically the first shell and just run one by one okay it will take some time and you'll generate the output just come down and just check the score for the last task also and you can see we got the output 
and chances are there we may get the score also so that's all about this video do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day ahead